Right in the middle of Turkey stands the ancient town of Gordian. Alexander came here to meet reinforcements from Greece, but he was also drawn by a strange legend. The Americans have been excavating here for nearly 50 years now, in the place forever associated with the tale of the Gordian Knot. It was just a cheap farm cart, the Greeks said, like the ones you still see in Turkey today. Alexander took a long, hard look at this impossible knot. But he couldn't, for the life of him, see how he could undo it. It was probably rather like the kind of knots we call Turks' heads knots. A big knot with all the ends tucked up inside so you just can't see where to begin. By now there was quite a crowd gathering. Local people from Gordian who were always interested to see someone make a fool of himself trying to solve the riddle. And the Macedonian officers who were worried now. They wished Alexander had not attempted this. What happens if he fails, they were thinking. This would be a really bad omen. What happened next, we don't know for sure. Some say that Alexander pulled out the pin that held the, the shaft and the yoke together, loosened the knot so he could pull the yoke out. According to others, though, Alexander pulled out his sword and said it doesn't matter how the knot is undone. And he slashed the knot open to reveal the hidden ends inside. A very Alexander way of doing things. That night, thunder and lightning crashed over Gordian. The gods were with him. In that moment is the beginning of the myth of Alexander the Great. As the Macedonians marched down from Ankara to the Mediterranean, Darius left Babylon with an army twice the size of Alexander's. He circled round Alexander's back and cut off his line of retreat. He would crush the upstart once and for all. Standing here as Alexander rides along his lines and we're told in the sources encourages the troops. You know, he appeals to the Macedonians and the cry goes up. He's singling out officers and men for their bravery and the Macedonian regiments are shouting and he goes along uh, the Greek allied contingents and cites uh, we are defeating the great king of Persia. We are going to avenge uh, Persian humiliations of Greece. Uh, he goes to his Thracian and Balkan allies and says, enemy, kill, booty, and of course they understand that, no problem. These guys are in here for the more fun aspects after the battle. Uh, and all of the army is uh, really worked up to a fever pitch. Yeah. The Persians now are so nervous. They're waiting for the charge, and then Alexander gives, charge, down they come. These troops, oh my God, they're after me, personally. They're gonna kill me. They, they let loose a volley, which we're told is so bad that it, the arrows hit each other. It's completely ineffective. They turn around, run into the infantry, let me through, let me through. They try to muscle themselves. Yeah. This throws the infantry into a panic. In seconds, Alexander's cavalry is coming down into the river, is on top of them. The entire Persian left flank here dissolves in a panic. And the battle's lost in the first the few minutes. Is, one could say in the first minute. Alexander had smashed right through to Darius's chariot. Darius had to flee for his life. This is the moment preserved on a great mosaic from Pompeii. Alexander storms into the history books like a hurricane, wild-haired and wide-eyed. 